be blazing hot, right Michelle? <laughs> yes, it is going to be blazing hot. Just like yesterday, we uh, felt our temperatures or the feels like temperatures were in the triple digits. Once again, we're looking at another heat advisory, which will go into effect here shortly, meaning the heat indices may reach between 108 to 113 degrees. Now this, uh, the heat advisory, will be in effect for the entire area this time. And this includes our Mississippi counties. So again, make sure you're being careful while you're out and about. Live look outside, lots of sunshine to begin our Saturday morning. It's 81, feeling like the upper 80s right now. And look at the humidity, 91%. So it's so muggy out there to begin our morning. There's a look at your current temperatures. We're in the upper 70s, lower 80s in many locations. When you factor in the dew points, the dew points, it's feeling so much warmer, feeling like the upper 80s in Kenner, already feeling like the mid 90s in lakefront and feeling like 95 degrees out in Buras. And things are going to continue to warm through the morning and the afternoon hours. My forecast high for today, 98 degrees. We may see a few isolated showers and thunderstorms as we go through the afternoon hours, but really hit or miss. I put a 20 to 30 percent coverage uh, for that. But as we head, head into tonight, looking much drier. So your local expert forecast for today, 98 degrees in Homa. Thibodeau, 100 degrees in Picayune, and 97 degrees in Laplace. It is going to be a hot one today. And then as we take a look at the heat indices here, already feeling like the triple digits as we get closer to 10 o'clock this morning. And then it's going to continue to feel like the triple digits through the rest of the afternoon leading into the early evening hours. So again, as temperatures continue to climb today and also tomorrow, my forecast high 98 degrees, we could potentially break a record today. The record high for this time or for today, rather 96 degrees that was set back in 2011. I do think we'll break that today and then tomorrow will be near record heat. The record set back in 1990 of 99 degrees. So I do think we'll get up into the upper 90s both today and tomorrow and that's where we're supposed to be the lower 90s. So just a few hot weather other tips here if you're planning on being outside lots of things happening Father's Day weekend Juneteenth is tomorrow take frequent breaks if you're going to be outside drink plenty of water stay hydrated like wear light colored clothing or lightweight clothing and your pets plenty of water shade don't forget them in the car as well as children and again make sure you're checking the back seat if you are going anywhere I do want to mention that there is a severe weather risk really for the North Shore and this includes our Mississippi counties here where a few of those thunderstorms that develop across the area will have uh, the chance to uh, produce heavy rain because the atmosphere is so tropical a uh, strong damaging winds again with those stronger uh, thunderstorms and then hail possible and because of the marginal risk of level one those thunderstorms it will be isolated so we'll begin to see clouds pop in and out through the morning uh, a few isolated showers here as we head into the afternoon hours look how hit, hit or miss they are and then later on tonight we may see a few stray showers under partly cloudy skies and then as we head into tomorrow we'll begin to see those clouds uh, move out of the area and tomorrow's going to be a nice and sunny day here's the setup as we take a look at the water vapor imagery this is way up in the atmosphere here's our ridge that's going to expand as we head into the upcoming week and it is going to be hot and humid Here's our front. So there is a cold front that's our cool front, I should say, that's going to move through the area tomorrow. It's a backdoor cool front because of the movement of that frontal boundary. It is not going to bring down our temperatures. What it's going to do is slightly bring down the humidity slightly and then it goes right back up as we head into the upcoming week. Temperatures are going to be above average as we head into the end of the month. So keep that in mind for and also the first day of summer is on Tuesday, so certainly going to feel like it. Real quick, what's going on in the tropics? Nothing. We're looking at a little disturbance near uh, Central America. Not going to do much running into wind shear. So as of right now, National Hurricane Center is not really um, highlighting anything for the next several days. Here's a look at your seven day 30% coverage for showers and storms 98 tomorrow's Father's Day 98 degrees as well. Also Juneteenth, but Juneteenth is observed on Monday 95 degrees. First day of summer is on Tuesday and we're looking hot and humid through the rest of the work week.